Damien Darko and you're watching Band State Tactical, where it's not illegal if you don't get caught. Welcome to our first ever Band State Tactical Wet and Wild Volume 1. As you can see, it's been wet and wild all day. And please like, share, and subscribe so that we can afford the weed whacker we will need to keep the Shattered Laugh Plantation up and running. Uh, sh uh, pr property, Shattered Laugh property. <laughs> So welcome to Band State Tactical's first ever head-on competition where two of our former contestants engage in, well, non-mortal combat because they're inanimate objects that are completely non-sentient. And we'll be starting off today with the Band State Custom. I've installed this larger CO2 container here. This is a 90 gram rather than our typical 12. I have not tested it with this device yet, so let's see how it goes. Oh yeah, she's ready. Woo! So for this first test, safety glasses. Ah, here we are. So for this first test, I'm just gonna be taking five shots at our zombie friend, just to kind of see how fast we can get them, and then I'm gonna reload and take one more shot. Are we ready, cameraman? We are. Oh, tactical laser, there we are. All right, fire in the hole. Holy. Oh shit! Uh oh! <laughs> this Whoa. is uh, this is a thing. As long as we're replacing windows, if they break. <laughs> okay. Um, wow. So as we may have mentioned, this has been recently enhanced by removing the valve block, and um, oh crap. I was not expecting to go into these mats. It has, look at that. Holy. Keep in mind, this is only an impact weapon. It's not actually cutting anything, but it is really slapping that. Whew. All right, that was pretty damn fast too. I wouldn't want to take this thing to the face. Uh, I think we might have that rebound on uh on slow mo absolutely oh nice nice yeah we definitely got a rebound there <laughs> this is actually not a good medium to be doing this with because it is it's bouncy you know so uh this will stick in there so i got five shots here and i'm going to try to reload one start our laser up now this is a crossbow and this has been replaced with the 80 pound limb rather than the original 35. Reloads are not the same as having speed loader. All right. Oh, you got him in the head now. So uh, I think for the speed, we definitely have to give it to the double action revolver. But for a, a handheld crossbow, that's not bad at all. Got him right there, son of a bitch. Sure. In case you're wondering, we actually have to take a needle nose plier in order to drag these things out of the test medium. She be slapping. Mm -hmm. So is the air gun. That thing is actually hitting pretty damn hard. Oh, it's indented this thing into that. Wow. Look at that. Those are permanent. Those are not healing up. <laughs> no Wolverine powers here. <laughs> All right. So now we have our 3M special, the zombie cantaloupe which is of course kind of our standard test medium here at Band State Tactical. So for those of you that might remember, this gun here in its 16 joules configuration was able to penetrate into the canal, but certainly couldn't make it out the other side. I wonder if it can today. I'm pretty certain that the crossbow can. Let's see what the Band State Special is capable of. Die, you zombie scum. Oh! Slapping! Slapping! I don't know you! I don't know you! All right, one more. Wow, I mean, it's, it's also a lot louder than I remember it. That, that, that's gonna lend to its intimidation as well. Woohoo! You missed. You missed. 
Did I? A bunch of times. Well, I think it was because it was going through the top there. It's, yeah, it's, it's going just straight through this top here. It's grouping like really well, but here, let's take a look here. Maybe I should have aimed a little bit lower with some of those shots. Um, it still definitely tore this thing up. Obviously, the kind of damage it does is different. But now that this thing has been enhanced, exit wounds. Oh. Look at this. That is a sad zombie. Holy shit. We're not gonna, I thought we were gonna have to cut this thing open with the Gladius again. No, we are not. <laughs> it, it has been brained already. Brains. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I should have aimed a little lower for this one. The damage is ostensibly less impressive, but it's just going straight through. So ladies and gentlemen, well, mostly gentlemen according to the analytics, we lost a couple of our arrows there, so we're gonna have to swap out these ones here. By the way, side note, these expensive sons of bitches, there is finally an aftermarket for that. Wow, we're actually bending the metal tips now. They're hitting so hard. So we are going to now move on to so our... So how did you upgrade this? So to upgrade this, what I ended up doing was simply getting another limb for it. This is not the original Stinger 2 limb. And this is a pain in the ass. I talked about this in a little special I put up on the channel. But trying to find these things was hell. I did like three different deliveries that didn't work. I eventually bought a different pistol crossbow that had an 80 pound limb and just Frankensteined it on there. And then I found out I probably could have done it for 15 bucks, but I didn't even know if it was going to work at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, so that 35 pounds was nice, but this is clearly going to be a lot more. And this is the main test. So whereas this bad boy here did not originally perform well with the cantaloupe, what stopped this guy last time was the coconut. Now that it's at least doubled in power, can we get through our coconut medium? I think I might, I don't know if I need to try all five of these arrows or not. I'll see. I think I'll start with the air gun. So our goal for this is simply to see if we can crack one of these damn things. That would be impressive as hell. We ready? Yep. I'll aim for the only one there. on the ground oh okay now keep in mind this is an impact weapon up oh. up oh. <laughs> got it <laughs> that was only three shots I got two more in here we knocked off the hard outer shell it's cracked all the way down there let's see if I can hit a softer part Oh, oh, it's in half. I hope we got that on slowy. Yeah, we did. <laughs> nice, crap. nice. Oh, we knocked a coconut in half with a friggin' air gun you can get delivered from Amazon. I was not expecting this. <laughs> This is awesome. I did not think it was going to have that kind of power. Yeah, I hit it four times, but this thing is going to cause serious concussions, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit. Wow. All right, this is definitely becoming a bad state special. And another thing to mention... Mm -mm. Is that since I didn't need to buy the 15 joule valve, uh, the 16 joule valve, since I upgraded the original, you could get this whole thing for about a hundred bucks if you know what to do with it, and then maybe another like 40 for this connector down here to put the your uh, more powerful system on. I'm not sure if connecting this versus a 12 makes it more powerful or just more long lasting. I feel like I've never seen it react this this power, even when I test it with the 12. So this might actually be adding power as well. Don't quote me on that. Mm -hmm. Let's see. All right, Mr. Coconut. Goodbye, Mr. Coconut. I got three of them in here for now. I could always put another one if I have to. Ooh, did that hit? Ooh, was that a little? Oh, that was low. That went right under it. Okay, that was me. Now I kind of know where that point of aim is. A little higher. 
What the frick? Is that low again? Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. All right, that is me, folks. I'm going to aim higher. I'm higher. Oh! <laughs> where did that thing bounce off to? Right about where you're at. All right. Okay, it's noticeably bent now. This thing has bent with the force. But it didn't stick in. It knocked a huge chunk out of it there. Interesting. I was thinking maybe it would finally stick in, but not quite enough. I'm going to try these two more. This is, can no longer be fired. This would actually cause a malfunction in the magazine now. Mm -hmm. These may be bent. I'm not 100% on that because they are wedged in there. And when you hit a hard target with these things, they will eventually deform. This one may be too bent. No, I'm going to try these two one more time. I think they're, they got enough. I might as well use up the ones that are kind of messed up. Yeah, I will. Please don't kill my crossbow. Well, I guess that would settle it, wouldn't it? Oh, if the, <laughs> yeah, the guns by the yeah. crossbow. I think we know who's winning. All right, so did some damage there. Well, if you put if you put any effort into anything, you're gonna make something dope. So look what you did. Look at that. This is like our own thing, right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if we can do some more damage. Oh. I think that was again to the side. Close. Huh. Okay, that's that's weird. This deflected down, I believe. Because these are actually, I think these are hitting. Hey, let's watch it on the slow. Oh, it's still not quite. Well, there's a crack running down that coconut. What surprised me is how this actually cracked it more. Because it is advertised as being basically an, an impact weapon. But I'm just want to know if I can get this, what it will take to crack this coconut. Wow. So yeah, these are definitely done. Look at this thing. This hit and the power was there, but it deflected down into the chair. I'm going to try two of these off-brand ones and see how they do. I have to say, I think that the air gun has won this round and I was not expecting that. Well, yeah, you got it. I went Speed. into this. I went into this thinking that the, the crossbow was going to be the king. I think if you whacked somebody five shots with the air gun, they were going to be more in pain than if they got a couple of needles in them. <laughs> Maybe. Holy crap. All right, I'll try the other side. Oh, yeah, that one's high. <laughs> Go figure. I am low. Oh! <laughs> Oh, there it is. Ouch. There. Hold on. <laughs> oh, but didn't warp it. Look at that. Well, like maybe a little one bit. One of these cracks, I'm not sure. It does have a crack running down it, but it did not really get in there the way I was hoping and knocked a chunk out. So... As far as impact goes, yeah, the the uh, bow, the uh, air gun won. I thought that one of these was eventually going to get in there. And I'm amazed at that thing. Look at this. Four shots. Split it in half. There we go. <clears throat> All right, tactical aficionados. Welcome to Site B. This is where we go to hide from social justice redneck, but also to shoot some of our more... <clears throat> How should I put it? Deleterious substances. If you look to our table here, hmm? What's up? I, your glasses. I have my glasses. Me? Oh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't know that they were on my They're head. They're on your head, yeah. Well, like, how did they get there? I don't know. That's weird. Are we good? Yeah, I didn't know they were on Oh, okay, my head. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's all filmed. <laughs> so, anyway, so we're going to be shooting that there bottle of Telemore Dew with the. Band State Custom, and this here chicken with the Stinger Steamboat too. So this bottle right here, oh boy, some some of our viewers might remember this one. Me and my cousin swore an oath of sobriety on this bottle here. It lasted about three months, so now it makes me feel bad. So now I'm going to shatter it into a million pieces with the 68 caliber aluminum ball launcher. At least we'll see. 
Do you think it's powerful enough? Let's find out. All right, let's see. Oh! Not even a question. Oh! That I have five shots ready to go. That was just one. Okay. Well, yeah. Um, all right, let's test the Steambow Stinger too. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This thing is just surprising the shit out of me. That actually, I recoiled a little bit. Like, I'm actually feeling recoil now. Oh! Oh my God, there's nothing holding this together. Look, look what it did to the table as well when it exploded. Oh, that's because the second one you shot, it came in. Maybe, maybe yeah, it maybe it groove. did. Holy crap. Jesus Christ. Oh, I don't it's know. It's still in there. It's still in there. I don't know if this counts as less than lethal anymore. <laughs> anyway, to, to sobriety. To sobriety. Yeah. Uh, so, as for our chicken friend here. All right, well, those are, those are some explosive results. So now we're going to be trying out our Steamboat Stinger 2. I have four bodkin arrows uh, ready to go, and I have one of those hunter arrows. I'm going to see if we can get it to fly straighter. We tried this when this thing had a 35 pound limb. Now that it has an 80, maybe it will have enough momentum to fly straight. Some arrows are designed to, to work with certain kinds of uh, pull weights, so we shall see. We got a chicken ready to be sacrificed. Let's see. Definitely in there. Don't think it passed all the way through. Oh, well, that one might have. Maybe. Oh. We should. And here's the. Yep. Arrow. Here's the hunter. Let's see if this thing gets. I'm gonna get a little closer, because I don't know about this thing. Maybe. Let's see. Well, <gasps> ouch, ouchie. One, two, three, there's one over here that I think hit it sideways, so that might have went through four. So again, the hunter arrow, I think we completely missed once more. Those things just can't hit a damn thing, but the rest of these perform well. However, so here's the thing, I was originally only gonna shoot the glass bottle with the Band State Custom. I think we should see what it does to this. It's not designed to actually penetrate. It's supposed to impact, but why the hell not? Let's pull the arrows out. Let's get these arrows out. Ooh, yeah. This thing is definitely cooked. Ha, ha, ha. A whole chicken. I didn't expect that. We did even get this to go through some ribs when we did a test before. I didn't expect the whole chicken. This thing is... Savage. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good at getting in there. Again, this is not something that the Band State Custom is really designed for, but if it can do it, I'll be impressed. Let's see, do we have any shots left? God, we only shot it twice. I'll put five more in. All right. You never know what this damn thing's gonna do. Leon Kennedy style. Oh, I think I see a hole right there. Oh, Ooh. oh, it finally ran out, of, finally ran out of, yep, of juice. It is running out of juice. So that was not really a great test, but yep. Let's try again. We'll that lasted for a while, but considering how long this lasted for the Umarex Javelin, it went through this power quicker with this, telling me that it really was, was just using it. But look, look down here, man, before it ran out. I'm, I would be amazed if we could get go one of those, through, get, one of those. get an arrow and see how, when I can find a projectile. Holy shit. So this thing will penetrate flesh. I am shocked. No way. No way, that's it. Bullshit! Feel it. You can feel it in there. Holy shit. How deep did that go? Show people. It's... 
it's like there. But this is a 68 caliber ball that is not even supposed, it's supposed to be an impact round. Ooh. I want to shoot it five more times. Yes. All right. And there's a way we can do that. <laughs> All right, so these boys are a little pricey, but we're gonna throw another one on there. Oh, there's a bug on the camera, get out of there. How much is one of those? They're again? about 10 bucks a piece. Oh, geez. Yeah, I know. There we go. So, I'm trying to remember which way this thing rotates, I believe, if I put the empty on there. All right, got the steel rubber bowls loaded up in this thing haven't tried those in a while these are my last four i don't know if they're notably any better than the aluminum but we might as well give it a go ah there we are all right fully gassed up let's see what she does oh that bounced back a little whoa what's that what the okay hmm Is there something wrong with the gun? Oh, Jesus Christ. Maybe. Uh, I don't know what happened. Well, you got it once. Hmm. Yeah, but that wasn't even doing full power. That's weird. Okay. Let me try the aluminum again. Because this thing is... It's still gassed up, that's for sure. All right. Not sure what happened there. Yeah, where's the power? Oh, okay. Hmm. Uh-oh. Uh, damn, we just put one of these things in there. I have no idea. It is just not getting its power. That is disappointing. I wonder if we've overpressurized this thing. Damn, I don't know if we can get this up and running again. I was just about to say, this thing is the f***ing undisputed champion. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, okay. Oh, it's back. Doesn't, all right, let's see. Nope. No, almost no power there. I didn't pull the trigger that time. Interesting. Hey, at least we put two holes in a piece of chicken. Guess so. That will leak out. This, man, I didn't want to waste one of these. Don't waste it. Try to just, hold on, I'll just turn this off. I'm going to very carefully take that out. I am not sure what's happened. We are probably, it's probably some sort of valve issue. Um, damn, this thing was performing really well. I wonder if I got overpressured or something. It would be leaky, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be. And if you push this, it goes nothing. Light blue light. See, this will release some of the pressure in there. So we gotta put something in there to pull the. Yeah. No, it should it should go off even without these. It usually would. That's not good. Rip. Oh, no. <laughs> No! <laughs> no! Wow. I was just about to award this thing the, the championship out here. This was amazing, but mm. it might be might be done. I guess we're going back to the crossbow. Huh. Hey, where is the crossbow? <laughs>
So some unforeseen results. Rip Peppa Pig and unfortunately it seems Rip the Band State Custom unless I can take this thing apart and figure out what the hell happened. I am completely out of ideas. I'm, I was just thinking what if there was like some sort of obstruction down the barrel. Hold on a minute. That shouldn't explain it. I don't know. All right. There's nothing left in here. No, definitely not. We It happened when we tried the steel rubber bowl so i thought maybe it was something caused by the ammo but it really wasn't it's something about the valve i think uh this thing uh, this is a, a lesson in what they call snatching defeat from the jaws of victory because were we just about to say this was the ultimate band state weapon we were like minutes away from saying yeah, yeah that's it. That it we will put this thing about two or three inches into a chicken it's not even supposed to be lethal it's a it's a aluminum ball a 68 caliber aluminum ball punches right into that chicken it's almost a gun however we did get consistent results from the steamboat stinger 2 in its new 80 pound configuration and this one did not you know blow out on me so i guess we have to declare the sting steamboat stinger 2 the winner and it did very well it put all those arrows except the undependable hunter right through that chicken and almost out the other side and um we did also manage to put one through a coconut I don't know if we got that on camera, but we did. Well, good. We did eventually defeat the coconut with this thing. We used a different tip, and maybe that was it, or it could just be where we hit it. Who knows? But yeah, so Steamboat Stinger Two is winning today's competition. But man, you hate to see him go that way because the Band State Custom was really, really impressing. Blowing a coconut in half with four shots from a, a pellet, you know, an air gun. That's crazy. Anyway. So tune in next time, Tactical Aficionados, where it's not illegal if you don't get caught. And please, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe, because now we really need that, that non-existent money to fix the band state custom. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Look how they massacred my boy.